In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use motion arrows together to create a circular or spiral animation effect with Photo Mirage. This works great on any photo, especially with circular or swirl elements, to bring even more life to your photos. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. Open Photo Mirage and on the main screen, click on Open to upload an image that you want to animate. I'm going to open up this image of a Ferris wheel against a sky background. I want to create an animation to make it look like the Ferris wheel is spinning around. Essentially what we're going to do is plot a number of standard motion arrows following the frame of the Ferris wheel, creating a circular motion. Let's start by clicking on the motion arrow icon and zooming up on our image. Now let's plot a motion arrow from the bottom of the image up to the first point on the Ferris wheel. But if we let go of our mouse and try to plot another arrow right after the first one, you'll see that we will accidentally select the first motion arrow and it will try to let us extend it. But we don't want to do this. So you need to hold down the space bar on your keyboard continuously as you plot more arrows. This will let us continue to plot more motion arrows in a sequence. So let's keep holding down the space bar as we click and let go of the motion arrows to follow the frame of the Ferris wheel. Once you've finished plotting your arrows, let's repeat the same process on the circular frame on the lower half of the Ferris wheel to create a more even spin. And make sure that the arrows follow the same direction as the first set. Now let's select the anchor point icon and plot anchor points around the Ferris wheel. This will restrict the animation to just the wheel. Now let's press play to preview you'll see that the way we've placed the motion arrows give the illusion that the Ferris wheel is spinning. Another cool thing you can do to enhance this photo is to add some standard motion arrows in the clouds. Now when we press play again, you'll see that the clouds appear to be moving to the left while the Ferris wheel is spinning to the right. You can also use this technique to create a spiral effect in images that don't have any circular elements. Here I have an image of the stars over the forest. And now I'll use the same technique as before to plot arrows in a small spiral in the sky in a counterclockwise direction. Now I'll plot anchor points all around the spiral to prevent the other areas of the image from animating. I'm going to create another spiral and this time use motion arrows going clockwise. And once again plot anchor points around it to isolate the animation to just within this circle. You can create as many of these spirals as you like. Now if we press play to preview, you'll see how the stars swirl in both directions bringing the image to life in a magical way. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Photo Mirage.